Hello guys, welcome back to S7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily S7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the determinate beam and the indeterminate beam. So how we can classify these two types of the beam? Here are the different examples that will help to clarify the main difference between these two types of the beam. So I will explain each of these beams that either it is determinate beam or unstable beam or the indeterminate beam. But, but first to define the de determinancy of the beam. So here I take the simple example, this is a simply supported beam and here I want to explain the determinancy of the beam. So there is a formula R is equal to 3N. This formula is used to find out the determinancy of the beam where R is the number of support reaction and 3 is a constant value and n here is the number of the member so how to now explain these things so if r which is the support reaction number of the support reaction if r is equal to 3n then such type of beam is known as the determinant beam. Determinant beam. And when R is and when R is greater than 3N, then it is known as the indeterminant beam. And when R is less than 3N, then such type of beam is known as the unstable beam. So now let's define these three different things. R is equal to 3N. So R is the support reaction. If this is my beam, so this is a hinge support here. So it can take the vertical load and also it can take the horizontal. So it will be Rx. This is Ry. And also it's the roller support. So it can only take the vertical. So it will be Ry. So how many numbers are the support reaction here where R is the number of support reaction. So here the R is equal to 3. 1, 2, 3 support reaction. Here 3 is a constant which should always be 3 where N is the number of member. So if we see here there is only one member. One beam supported by two supports. So here the member is only 1. So N is equal to 1 in this case. So if we will put the values there. And we will see either this is a determinant beam, if it is equal to R is equal to 3N, it will be determinant. If it is greater, it will be indeterminate. If it is less, it will be unstable beam. And should be always keep in mind when it is a determinant beam, for example, R is equal to 3N. When R is equal to 3N, determinant beam, then what we have to do, we can find out the support reaction by using the three equilibrium equation, summation of Fx equal to 0, Summation of vertical force is equal to zero and summation of moment at any point equal to zero. By this three equilibrium equation, we can find the support reaction of any beam if it is a determinant beam. It should be kept in mind. If it is a determinant beam, then we can use this equation to find out the support reaction. If it is not a determinant beam, either indeterminant beam or the unstable beam, then we cannot use these three equations to find out the support reaction for a beam. So this was the general overview. Now let's go to the examples and to see either it is a determinant, indeterminate or the unstable beam. So the first case is a simply supported beam. So here it is a hinge support. Hinge support always take two support reaction and roll support always take one. So there are three support reaction. So R for this beam equal to three. Number of beam is member is one. Here we see only one member. So N is equal to one. So the formula is R is equal to 3N. So number of support reaction is 3. And then 3 is this value multiplied by the N. N is 1 here in this case. So this comes out to be 3 is equal to 3. So it means R is equal to 3N. So they are equals. So it means this is a determinant B. And we can use this um, equilibrium equation to find out the support reaction of such beam. Now in the second beam, here we have a roller support, two roller supports, so one vertical reaction and one vertical reaction. 
and here we have two members we see here this is one member this is a second member so n is equal to 2 here r support reaction equal to 2 1 2 n is equal to number of b members here are 1 and 2 so they are also 2 so now support reaction formula is this one this is the determinancy formula so r is equal to 2 3 is a constant multiply with the n n is also 2 here so now it comes out to be 2 is less than 6 2 into 3 equal to 6 so 2 is less than 6 it means that r is less than 3n this formula and this formula means that it is a if you look to this formula r is equal to less than 3n so it is unstable b so this is unstable b and we must have to provide some other supports to increase the stability of this beam so this is the second beam now let's come to the third one so here we have hinge support so vertical horizontal vertical horizontal these are the four support reaction r equal to four one member and two member n is equal to two so r equal to four four is equal to three multiply n which is two so here we got four less than 3 2 into 6 6 so 4 is again less than 6 it means this beam is also unstable beam so we have to provide some another support in order to increase the stability of this beam so coming to the last beam here we see the uh, fixed support here so it can take the vertical reaction the horizontal reaction and also the moment and also here if we look to the roller supports it can also take the vertical reaction so the number of support reaction are one two three and four so r is equal to four and member is only one here we see you can see here only one member is used here so n is equal to one so in this case four r is the fourth r is equal to three and we should always use this formula so three multiply one so it means 4 is greater than the 3 so now in this case r is greater than 3n so it means we have indeterminate beam indeterminate beam so we must have to use we cannot use the simple equilibrium equation to find out the support reaction for this beam but we have to use some other conditions in order to find out the support reaction so hope you guys understood the main difference between the determinate, indeterminate and the unstable beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.